So I had a total original video idea. Absolutely no one has thought of before, let alone made a video on if I was a Pokemon gym leader. So first let's discuss theme and typing. I had to think long and hard about this because there's so many cool types of Pokemon that also really suit me, but I went along with being a fire type gym leader and my theme would be dogs. Like, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I have two beautiful dogs, Josie and Charlotte. They, they are absolutely the best things on earth. They're both the love of my life. So it's only appropriate that the theme of my gym is dogs. Now the goal for this gym is that there is absolutely no repetition. I really feel like a big flaw in a lot of the Pokemon games is you can typically tell what the gym leader is using based on the Pokemon the trainers are using that you fight leading up to the gym leader. And honestly, it makes the game like really boring. When I go into a gym for the first time in a new Pokemon game, I just want to be surprised at the Pokemon that I see people using. So here's what the trainers will be in the gym. Now these trainers titles will be called fire masters, something that, that I just made up and you know, it just sounds cool. There will be three trainers throughout the gym. There will be fire master Tito, fire master Zane and fire master Alzima. Now let's start off with fire master Zane. Fire Master Zane will have a Blaziken at level 49 that knows Fire Punch, Blaze Kick, Brick Break, and Sky Uppercut, and a Volcarona at level 47 knowing Silver Wind, Heat Wave, Solar Beam, and Psychic. Now for Fire Master Tito, he's going to have a Charizard at level 48 that knows Dragon Rage, Fly, Flamethrower, and Iron Tail, and a Moltres at level 50 that knows Sky Attack, Flamethrower, Wing Attack, and Steel Wing. And last but not least, Fire Master Ultima will have a Magmortar at level 50 that knows Thunder Punch, Lava Plume, Fire Blast, and Hyper Beam, and an Embor at level 51 knowing Hammer Arm, Flare Blitz, Bulk Up, and Brick Break. The point of these trainers are that they're going to be very hard and have very different amount of moves in their moveset so they can really just destroy whoever comes through the gym. Now, next up is gym design. Now, there's really nothing more important than the gym design. It's what makes the gym special and memorable. Why do you think we all memorize Lieutenant Surge's gym so well? It's because of that horrible freaking puzzle that you had to do in the beginning. That's why everybody remembers it. So that's why this gym is in a volcano. Something that I don't think I've seen done in Pokemon before. So it's definitely a cool idea that needs to be done. And it's going to be in my gym. Now in this gym, you're going to be needing two HMs that I just completely made up called HM Lava Surf and then HM Lava Fall. Pretty self-explanatory what those HMs are. But next up is the puzzle. So first off, I'd just like to say when you enter the gym, you cannot leave unless you faint. This really adds an extra layer of how hardcore and just hard this gym is. And it's supposed to make you struggle because that's ultimately what makes the game is so fun is when you're having a hard time winning. No one gets satisfied over a win that took no work to do. And honestly, I was thinking a long time about what the puzzle should be. First of all, I don't want to make a puzzle that's too hard or annoying that's completely reliant on RNG, like Lieutenant Surge's puzzle. So ultimately, you just want to make a puzzle that's pretty simple and that you can do within your first time without looking up because you know it's a bad puzzle if somebody has to look up how to do it. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh... I couldn't really think of a puzzle to do. This is kind of like so much thinking and so much work going into this imaginary gym. Something I wanted to do is maybe you could redirect streams of the lava currents and it pushes you towards a lava waterfall. Uh, a, not a lava waterfall. That's a lava fall. It leads you to the lava fall and that's where you use the lava fall HM and then you go up to the gym leader. 
And speaking of the gym leader, which is me, gym leader Gage is going to be insane. Gym leader Gage is probably going to be the last gym leader you fight in the region of this imaginary region that doesn't exist. And he is going to be the hardest one and the last one for a reason. So let's get into the Pokemon that he's using. His first Pokemon is an Arcanine at level 52 that knows Thunder Fang, Crunch, Flamethrower, and Sunny Day. Basically, this moveset, Thunder Fang is to counter react, counter react, Whoa. It's to counteract any Pokemon that are water types because obviously people are going to bring water types to a fire gym. And then Sunny Day is to set up all the rest of the Pokemon, other fire Pokemon, to have stronger fire type moves. Next Pokemon is Nine Tails at level 53, which will know Disable, Confuse Ray, Fire Blast, and Flamethrower. This Pokemon is based on stats and it's really meant to just mess you up and get you so angry and like, wow, I just killed myself to confusion next up hound doom which is at level 57 knowing flamethrower crunch solar beam and double team solar beam is obviously to counteract water types and it's also a powerful move and sunny day will make it even stronger and those are the three dog pokemon that i have now of course i have to have some other pokemon because i can't just have three pokemon that's lame there's so many gym leaders with three pokemon and then like duplicates of other ones are just three pokemon Pokemon, right? I want us a, a good list. So next up is a level 55 camera up, knowing earthquake, eruption, sunny day, and roar. Camera up is just a powerhouse Pokemon that will just destroy your team with no hesitation. And last but not least, it had to be on this list no matter what the theme was, but it's Typhlosion at level 55, aka my first starter Pokemon ever. He knows flamethrower, toxic, brick break, it, yeah, I, I really couldn't uh, think of another move. Yeah, yeah, sorry. This set of Pokemon is really just to be really annoying and make the player really work for getting a win because I, what I see in a lot of Pokemon games, and this was especially true with X and Y. I went through X and Y with complete ease, and that's a big reason why I do not like that game because it's so boring with how easy it is. Now, there's other reasons. I'm going to make a video in the future on why I hate X and Y. It's going to be a good one, but that's just one of the things. And having a gym leader that truly challenges you is what makes the game fun because you want to work for that win because pokemon is not the hardest game ever but when it is hard it makes it 10 times more fun anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this totally original video of you know of an idea nobody else has done but no shout out the rest of the people who made this type of video before me because that's where i got my inspiration but i decided to do things a little bit different i really hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more pokemon content it really means a lot if you leave a like also comment what you as a gym leader would be just like what pokemon you would use and what type and theme and yeah i just want to see that because that's so interesting like what other themes there are in pokemon that's like not dogs you know anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you didn't enjoy i already said that anyways guys i love you and peace